Hi, I'm Jackie from RV Blind Company and I am going to show you today how to measure for roller shades. Um, specifically the Irvine uh, roller shades and uh, if you follow these instructions you will get a correct measurement to order them. So how I'm going to do it is I'm going to put my tape measure and I'm going to go from inside to inside of the arm. I call these arms here and this is your top of your balance. Uh, so you're going to go inside to inside and I have my measurement of 51 and a half on that. So the, the actual measurement you would order for your width you would subtract one inch so it would be 50 and a half. For your height measurement, you're just going to put your tape measure up inside to the top of the um, top. Sometimes you have to go off to the sides and things like that. And you're just going to put your tape measure, go all the way to the top, and then go down to the bottom of the window frame. And whatever that measurement is, this one is 28. Um, and so you give me that measurement. The most important measurement on these is to make sure that your roller shade will fit inside. Um, with putting the frame of the roller shade up inside your valances, um, you need at least two and a quarter to two to three inches. Best if you can have two and a half inches. So to get that measurement, I'm going to put my tape measure right on the window frame and I'm going to go to the inside of the back of the arm and it looks like on this one I have three and a half inches. So with that measurement you will have no problem putting that up inside there. So this is the way you would measure on this kind of um, when you have a full balance around it. Just remember, most important is your depth from your window to the back of your um, valance arm. And so if you have any questions, you can look at rvblindco.com and you can contact me and I can help you walk you through anything. If you don't have a valance that has arms, the sides, and you just have a top valance, basically you're going to do the same thing. You're going to measure from inside the top valance, inside that to inside, and it says it's 63 inches, and I'm going to subtract a 62, and uh, that would be your width. The other thing is, is your height is, again, put it up in the top, go down to the bottom, it says 33. Your height, remember to measure from window frame, basically to the inside. You have plenty of room on that one. You have almost three inches. The one thing you have to look at on valances is sometimes the tops do will not cover the full rollers. If you have a day and night roller, um, this one is three and a half inches. If we look at the roller itself, when you mount it and you go down, you see where three and a half is. It's halfway in the center of that roller. So right here in the center, you are going to see a little bit of this roll. You won't see the ends or anything, but you will see that uh, a part of that roll. So basically, to to cover one, you need um, about four and a quarter inches to cover the whole thing uh, up there. So you will have to think about it, decide if you want to see that little part of the roll. Most valances are okay and they do cover it but that's one thing you look at some rigs have the drapery rods and it's a little different different when you're going to do um, roller shades on this you will always have to use an l bracket i use a number four l bracket on these and the way i measure is i go to the curve of the rod 
right inside the curve of the rod and it looks like if I feel in there it is 40 inches so I'm going to order a 39 inch when you mount these the bracket will be coming out right above here but with the little drapery you're not going to see that break that uh, bracket there and then same as usual just measure right where that your existing blind is go down to the bottom of the window frame it will not have any problem because we're using a different bracket on this and the brackets um going to be hidden by this little drapery but we do see these and that's how you do it number four bracket and they do work the whole mechanism will be covered up by the drape uh, so you won't see the you won't see it because it's going to be sitting like that and it works perfect kitchen windows most kitchen windows have a small balance uh, so putting a double roller day and night doesn't usually work so I always suggest putting a night only roller uh, because during the day most people keep their their mini blind up um, and you can put the rollers at any length you want um, so this will cover a one roller and um, it I can tell by this balance you have plenty of room to put a um, a one a night only roller but always look, the kitchens and the bathrooms are usually this size of a balance. Just keep track of that kind of stuff when you measure. Another example, different, this is a fifth wheel which we're in. And if you notice, I put my tape measure there. I've got three and a half inches to cover that bottom roll. It takes four inches. So the bottom roll right between here and here is going to show. Doesn't really look bad, but you need to be aware of that. So if you don't have a balance around your window and you're just gonna mount them to the wall, when you're measuring, you need to realize that the mechanism where the knobs are to the fabric is a half an inch. So if you have a 50 inch window and you measure 50 inches, your fabric's going to be 49 inches. So if you have the room, you want to at least do two inches on a side so you have great coverage of the whole window. This shows the mechanism, knobs, the four inches from here to here how they work, how they clip on, and you have those. So if a balance isn't covering, you need to make sure this goes further up so you have no light coming through. Just a couple more hints on measuring for roller shades.